Hi, uh, my name is Marco Cantu. Welcome to this demo uh, called Everything XE uh, that's focused on some of the new features of uh, Delphi uh, XE. The uh, goal of this uh, demo is actually to showcase some of the uh, new features in the product and I came up with this example during a conference last week um, that we had in Italy uh, just to underline how people should actually migrate from 2007 to get Unicode support, to get new threading features, to get Azure support, to get uh, JSON support and uh, custom programming uh, of the Direct2D uh, Windows engine. The uh, actual effect of this program is to produce uh, this uh, an image like this one and uh, make it available on uh, Azure, on the Windows uh, Azure hosting, like in this case. Uh, the program in itself uh, is has a main form uh, where you can type uh, something. Um, you can pick a language. Uh, of course, both uh, languages with the um, uh, European, uh, Western European alphabet, uh, like this one, and then go for painting uh, in uh, a form. And at this point, we can right click and post it to Azure, and we will be able to plug in the URL that's copied on the clipboard and get the image uh, created just seconds ago. Uh, of course, the nice thing is the ability to translate in languages that use different uh, alphabets, like for example, we can go for Russian, and again, translate and paint this text in Cyrillic, and again, post it to Azure. Okay, of course the goal of the demo is not just what it does, but how it is done, and it is done using some of the new features of the language. For translation support, uh, I'm using the new version of my um, Babel Google REST component. Uh, hopefully Google actually keeps translation available. And what this does, it does the translation, and then, uh, differently from the past, it uses the automatic JSON parser that now works uh, in Delphi XE even if we have spaces and even if this is uh, UTF based. So we have this uh, result from JSON function that is called, that actually specifically calls parse JSON value from UTF 8, but you could use the parse JSON, uh, parse JSON uh, overloaded version of parse JSON value, and we can extract information from the uh, JSON object that's returned. Uh, of course, there is full support of Unicode on Delphi XE uh, that was not available like in Delphi 2007. Uh, moreover, uh, what the program does after the translation is the ability to paint Um, using painting code that is based on the Direct2D canvas. So this is the custom painting code. It uses gradient colors for brushes. It creates a gradient background, uh, a gradient color for the font, and then ultimately it paints with a rotated matrix so that it paints at tilted angles uh, 10 times the same the same string, the same text to display. Um, another feature is the ability to uh, put the uh, blob on Azure. Uh, this blob service component is just initialized using the account information. And I create, I use a standard folder. Uh, I create a name for the image using the language name. And I use also JPEG conversion support. So I do have 
the form image, which is a bitmap, and with this code that has been available right in the box for a couple of versions in Delphi, I do a JPEG uh, conversion. So JPEG conversion, direct to deconversion, uh, JSON support, uh, and the last feature, uh, when I call the Babel, the Google translation service, I use it within an anonymous thread. That's another new feature of Delphi XE. So I create an anonymous thread and start the thread. So I don't have to inherit from the T thread class, but I go for the anonymous thread. Now I do need to synchronize when I update the UI. And so I do synchronize with the current uh, thread using the class function. Of course, all of this, the pieces all over, all over this code and the complete example itself um, will be part of my coming Delphi XE book. And you can already get the source code by going on my, sorry, um, uh, code marcocanto.com and going for the Marco Delphi books project. Uh, if you go to the Delphi XE handbook, uh, and the uh, epilogue, everything demo, you can already find the various source code files and you can use the proper uh, subversion, oops, subversion command to fit in this video. Uh, okay, this is the head. This gets you all the complete source code for all of my books. But if you add uh, Delphi XE handbook epilogue, uh, to this path, you will download only the specific version of the um, of the program, uh, of the, the specific program, and not the entire set of components. So again, main program lets you translate some text, and I'm going to translate it in Italian as last thing, and paint it on screen, and post it to uh, Azure. Hope you like this small example. Bye.